Now, tell me about your background. You're a pastry chef, but how did you become a pastry chef? I've always worked in bakeries since I was a little kid, and uh, it's basically all I've ever done. I was born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri, moved to the islands in uh, 85, and uh, been in bakeries, hotels ever since. Well, it seems to me that I'm picturing a little boy that's walking in front of a bakery and s thinking, boy, that smells good. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Is that how you got into it? Well, it was just something to do when I was small. You know, I was, I'd wash the pots, watch the bakers. Um, eventually, they let me make the donuts, let me work on the coffee cakes and the Danish, and uh, I loved it. How old were you then? I was actually uh, 13 when I started working. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was a little bit too young to be working, but uh, but I would just help out a little bit. So. That's amazing because you like to do this. I love it. It's my passion. Yeah. How interesting. So what kind of uh, formal training have you had? You know, formal training was on the job, basically in the hotels. I, I was fortunate enough to work with some really good pastry chefs when I was younger. And uh, I just learn as I go. How did you come to Hawaii? You know, I'd been here uh, a few times on vacation with my family, and I loved it. You know, I loved the islands. I just loved everything about it. So after high school, I came. On your own? On my own. With no job? No job. $300 <laughs> in a suitcase. <laughs> my goodness. Yeah. Never left. Never. And you knocked on doors to get a job? Yeah. Fortunately, my brother was in the Marines in uh, Kaneohe at the time. So I had a place to stay, mm -hmm. and uh, it took uh, a couple months to find a job, you know, because I was I was fresh in town, and a lot of people didn't want to take a chance on somebody right new in town. So mm -hmm. now I was very young. So, but luckily I uh, I got in a bakery. Well, that's amazing. Uh, do you want to mention some of the places you've worked? Um, some of the hotels. The first hotel job I had was Hilton Hawaiian Village. Um, Royal Hawaiian Hotel, Ritz-Carlton Hotels, uh, Keolani Hotel, uh, Kahala Hotel, when it was Mandarin, yeah, opened the Mandarin. Well, that's a pretty prestigious list of... Um, very lucky, very fortunate to have the opportunity to work in these, these So places. you've probably worked with some uh, master pastry chefs and were able to learn a lot. I learned a lot. And the best training is on the job, I think. Um, you know, you get the, the real life experience. Mm -hmm. School is, is good to learn the basic skills, but to learn how a bakery operates and how to deal with the, your employees and how to, to make good bread. Mm -hmm. Tell the folks a little bit about how successful you have been, because it was in 2002, I believe, you yes. were named National Small Business Man of the Year. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Not very, we lucky we get the award, not that uh, very successful. We lucky we all work hard, and uh, my story is the touching their heart. That's, I, I think that's why they uh, choose me. I left Vietnam with nothing, working hard, speak no English, and I help my employees to become the owner. That's the, how they choose me. For being a side, I cannot compare with like people in uh, California or other states. Just lucky I win the award. Well, I don't think you're lucky. I think you're good. And you were so good to be named National uh, Small Businessman of the Year. You were able to go to the White House yes. and, um, and my... meet with President um, George W. Bush. Yes. And you brought your beautiful wife with you. Yes. And uh, what was her name? Uh, Sung. Her first name is Sung. Uh, last name is Chow. Well, she is absolutely beautiful. She looks like Miss Vietnam. I'm lucky. You're, like I said, you're good. So we're very proud of you that you reached this distinction. And how many people from Hawaii um, attain the White House? except maybe a president who's been able to do it. So I'm really, um, I think that's absolutely wonderful. So your mother is still with you here in Yes, in my Hawaii? mother in Hawaii, yes. And your brothers? Yes. I have uh, four brothers in Hawaii. Four brothers in Hawaii. And yes. they're all involved in the um, 
the Bali business. Bali business, yes. Oh, that's terrific. And uh, there's a picture with your mother. Yes. And, and your wife. Yes, and my two boys. And what are your two boys doing now? My two boys, after they finish school, they get the uh, MBA, and then they're working with me right now. MBAs, that's yes. marvelous. Where did they go to school? My oldest son, he went to UC David to get the uh, mechanical engineer. Then he come back to the, he went to uh, UH Manor to get the uh, MBA. My younger son, he go to uh, UH Manor uh, straight from freshman to uh, finish MBA last year. Wow, they're very um, smart boys. And how nice to have them in the business. Yes, actually uh, we're very lucky that uh, after they finish school, they still uh, stay in Hawaii, then they work for the company for the families. I see. We're very lucky. So do you have any family that's here, wife or children that are? Uh, I have uh, two boys and my girlfriend. Oh, terrific. So maybe they're interested in baking? Uh, a little bit. My older son, he's 21. He works at the bakery on and off. Oh, that's it's, terrific. It's a different generation. It's hard work, so we'll see if he enjoys it later. You know, maybe a desk job is easier. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, you two are real success stories from a 13-year-old who started in a, working in a bakery to a boat person who escaped from Vietnam and came here. I, I'm simply amazed at the success that you two you. have had. And I really um, wish you well in this coming venture and in, um, uh, in this economy. So I just uh, wanted to uh, let the uh, viewers know that I am so proud of these two folks from the Kahala area and wishing them well. This is Barbara Marimoto, Time with Barbara Marimoto. Thank you for spending with us. Aloha.